Why I can cut meat fishing with Jerry Max as a Jerry Sheffield production. There's a ditch right here that's near our house. This is just a drainage ditch. And this is where you'll find grape and grain pie larvae. Because with all the trees, there's lots of leaves. Even if, we, even if we break through this ice, you can still get them. You can get them all the way up until probably, oh, May, even June. I'd say from December to June. And then after that, though, like in June, July, they uh, they turn into a crane fly and they fly. And I think they mate for a day and then it starts all over again. So it's great bait and it's free. Crane fly are. We don't buy any of our bait. We normally get free bait. We got minnow traps to trap minnows. You can get the green fly larva. We get crayfish, fro frogs. The only thing we don't get is worms. We usually buy worms. They're cheap enough, and they're great for catching, for catching bait, for pike fishing. So if you're in the free bait, this is some excellent bait, green fly larva. Give it a try. Got some screen fly larva. Nice screen fly larva. They catch a who knows what. Some pan fish. Maybe even get a trout. Who knows? So let's give it a go. Fish on. We got some. A little perch. A little perch on the screen fly larva. That'd be good for bait, wouldn't it? Oh, well, we're not fishing for catfish now, so... Oh, we got a little better fish this time. Oh, look at there. A catfish. A catfish. And the crane fly alarm. A little catfish. Well... A little catfish, buddy. Man. What do you think? What, look at that boy. Oh yeah, it's a catfish. He's gonna get you. He's gonna get you, Max. Well, oh, that's a nice catfish, ain't it? Oh, he'll, he'll stick you, bud. Well, hey. That was a good little, good little guy. That'd be good for the pond, huh? For Hanky's pond. Fish on. We got another one. Wow, what a variety. A rock bass this time, Max. A rock bass. Hmm. A rock bass, Max. Hmm. Get him, Max. Get that rock bass, he's gonna get you. Hmm. Hope I got some hooks in my packs. Fish on, fish on. Hmm. I lost a couple of good fish. I had no idea what they were, but I had a couple of bigger fish on me. That was a fox. Look at that big old sucker, boys. We got a big sucker, man. Big fish of the day. That means the sucker's in there. Ooh, we got another big old bluegill. Wow, look at the size of these bluegills. They're almost as big as my hand. They're almost as big as my hand, these suckers. We got that one on the cream fly larva. Another bluegill. Wow, bluegill after bluegill, boys. Well, we're putting a den on the old pan fish today. Now let's catch some fish on you.
a nice man. A beauty. Beautiful fish. Well, we got that one on the cream fly larva. Still a little piece on it. We got that. Throw it on the cream fly larva. Alright, here's a little stream. It's just a runoff. Lots of leaves in it. A strainer we're going to be using, a small little net to get them. Place. You got a storm in a cool place. Here's the number one thing. Keep them in the refrigerator or keep them outside somewhere somewhere it's cool. It'll last quite a while. There's one right there. See, crawling in the leaves. All you do is basically get the leaves, and that's where they are. They're in the leaves. They're in the wet leaves. You take them apart, and then you get the crane fly larvae out of them. These are great bait. These are great for trout and great for perch. Rice fishing for trout fishing. You can get them even on a snowy day. I've, I've got some videos where I got them. In this. I'm just moving these stones around. I'm just moving these stones around. Well, we're getting quite a few, just being this early in the season. Now I'm just taking a bunch of leaves and, and like uh, you're panning for gold. I go to the bottom, I seen some in there. Oh yeah, I'm looking, there's two. There's two right there. There's two of them buggers. And this is gonna be some great bait, boy. You can't go to the bait shop and buy these. The only way you're gonna get these is get them yourself. We got quite a few out of that. Well, here's another little baby boy. Mm. All right, let's see what else we can get. There's one. Oh, there's a nice one. There's a nice one I just caught. The size of that one looks like a good size worm. Yeah, these would be good for walleyes too. Forgot to mention that. Yeah, so this is real good bait. Just hard to find. Well, it's easy to find, and it's easy to get, just most people don't even know about it. So, well, we've probably been doing this about an hour, and I, I'd say we got at least a hundred of them, maybe more, more or less between 80 and 100, I'd say, which is plenty to fish for quite a while. So, so the most productive way was getting them under the leaves. That's where I got the most of them. But every way works, you know, you can... Try it through the rocks, lift up the rocks, they're under the rocks. And whatever works for you, but give it a try. You won't be sorry. I do find a, a little stream like this, a runoff, or a small stream. There's some big crane flies that look like giant mosquitoes. They look like giant mosquitoes. Well, this is their larvae. And it's excellent trout bait and panfish bait and walleye bait. Just turned over some leaves. Max, you been having fun in the creek? What have you been after? Did you find anything? You've been digging too, haven't you? Yeah, he's been helping me. Yeah, Max has been helping his daddy. He likes to find stuff in the creeks, don't you? Yeah. And now a word from our sponsors. The good folks at Captain's Cove Motel and Marina. Well, if you want to do some salmon fishing, you can come down here to Captain's Cove. They, uh, fishing boats with motors they got pontoon boats kayaks they got a bait shop and tackle if you fit if you forgot your pole you can buy one right here whatever you need they got captain's cove motel and marina that's 585-682-3316